Hey guys, this is Adam with TAT Express. I get a lot of calls about low power on Volvos, so today I'm gonna show you what we do to find low power on your Volvo. Let's get right into it. I came from the mud, there's dirt on my hands. Strong like a tree, there's roots where I stand. So there's a couple of items that could cause low power, but today we're going to be looking at boost pressure. Okay, so the turbo has two sides, it has a hot side and a cold side. From the exhaust manifold to the turbo is considered a hot side, and from the turbo to the intake is considered this cold side. Either side, either, a leak on either side could cause problems or low power. We've already checked to see if he had any leaks on the hot side, and it doesn't. So what we're, we're going to be doing today is testing the boost pressure on the cold side. So we're gonna get into that next. I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do. Let's get right into it. So the first item that we're gonna be doing, of course, is the boost pressure test. I'm gonna show you what needs to be taken off so we can do this test. The first thing that needs to be taken off is this air filter. I've already removed the clamps from the turbo. We've already unbolted up top and also the uh, air, to air, the air intake for the uh, compressor here. On the newer models, they're gonna be on the back side. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrestle this filter off here. Get this hose off there and pull this off here. Okay, once I got that removed, I'm going to go ahead and put this test tool. It's a boot with the air gauge on it. So what we're going to be using to test the boost pressure. It's going to go on here to the turbo. Just like so. Let me get this on here. Just like that. I'm going to position our clamp so that we can tighten it down. Make sure you can access the, uh, the gauge and the air connector here. So we got that there. Go ahead and tighten it down. Get that on there tight, make sure it's snug. So once we got this on there, as I mentioned, we're gonna be using sh regulated shop air to hook up and test for the boost leak. So um, let's do that next. So we're gonna be hooking up shop air, but make sure that it's gonna be regulated. Most shops are gonna have anywhere from 140 to 150 PSI, uh, or even more sometimes. Uh, that's gonna be way too much uh, air for this particular system. Under these trucks, uh, with these trucks usually under full load, they're gonna be anywhere from 35 to 40 PSI of boost. Uh, so 20 PSI is gonna be enough. I have regulated air. I'm gonna go ahead and hook, up to the, hook it up to the tool. Right away I can hear the leak. Um, let me go ahead and throw some soap and water. It sounds like it's right off this turbo here. Oh yeah, you can see it pushing. So this leak is so big, it's not even making bubbles because of the, the gap in it. But you can hear it here. You can see this boot. Is, oh yeah, this boot is loose here. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the air. So as you can see there, um, he has a big leak. Um, we're not even building up to 10 PSI's. I have 20 PSI regulated air. With that large of a leak, uh, you're gonna be losing all the boost pressure. Anytime you have boost pressure leaks that large, uh, you're definitely gonna feel a difference in power. So we're gonna get this fixed up for him. We're gonna retest it, make sure he has, doesn't have any leaks. If everything is good to go, this truck should be ready to go back on the road. Okay guys, so that's one of the items that we check for on low power for your Volvo. Uh, if you got any questions or concerns about your truck, make sure to leave a comment below. Uh, also, make sure to subscribe to us if you're not subscribed to us. And turn on that notification bell so you know next time we release another video. So until next time, be safe. I came from the mud. There's dirt on my